Hello everyone, I'm Moldy Macaroni X, but you can call me Moldy, and I am sure I am not alone when I say that Sky Tower by Rafer is amazing. I love the level, and seeing it in its animation absolutely blew me away and left me speechless. However, you've probably read the title of this video. For some reason, I felt as if I liked Sky Tower way more than I should have, and I wasn't really sure as to why. So I did as I did with all things I didn't understand. I analyzed it. So, in this video, I will be explaining how you can use what I discussed today uh, alongside your own levels to drastically increase the quality of how people perceive them, essentially faking a masterpiece, and how Sky Tower does this exceptionally well. This is done a lot in things like films and movies to have you leaving the theater feeling as if you just watched the best thing ever. We will be applying this concept to Geometry Dash levels. Remember to subscribe if you like this video and my other content, it means a lot to me and is a great help in growing my channel. I plan to do something special for 300 subscribers which I am currently only, I think, 6 subscribers away from. Anyway, that's enough babbling for this intro, let's just dive right into this and discuss how to fake a masterpiece. Also, be sure to stick around until the end of the video to find out why I decided to call this faking a masterpiece and not enhancing quality or something like that. Anyway, sit back, relax, and enjoy. I am sure that we all know about the amazing animation Rafer made to go alongside Sky Tower. I won't show any of it in this video, since I want you all to watch on his channel. Anyway, this animation is amazing. Seriously, Prelude was great and all, but I would actually place this animation higher than that. Prelude lacked a good story or plot, something that Sky Tower exceeded at while actually being funny in some parts. Prelude has great animation, but lacks everything else. This Sky Tower animation has good animation, likeable characters, and a good plot that makes sense and is coherent. I know that- oh, it's raining. <laughs> okay, I hope you can't hear that, but uh... I know that Rafer admitted to it being difficult to connect Sky Tower to its prequel in Silico, but I think he absolutely nailed it. The adventures of Rafer and Alkali in the animation is amazing, and seeing them progress from in Silico to Sky Tower is awesome. It is like Rafer's own fictional universe. The animation was really well made, and with such an ending, it leaves me hyped for the next installation of this universe. Using this amazing animation and having it be tied to the level enhances our views on the level, giving us this interpretation that Sky Tower is some godlike level, when in fact I think it is the animation that gives it this idea, not the level itself. Just imagine Sky Tower but without the animation to go alongside it. It would just be, well, another Rafer level, not that that's a bad thing though. However, with the animation and how the level actually fits in with the animation just so well, it adds this whole new weight of greatness to the level, making us perceive it as some legendary advancement. Now what I am getting at is that it is not the level alone that makes Sky Tower so great, but the animation alongside it. I'm not saying that Sky Tower is a bad level, but rather that alongside Rafer's outside talent for animation, it overall increases our interpretation of the level to make it seem even better than it might actually be. Once again, to protect myself from the Sky Tower supporters out there, I am not saying that Sky Tower is a bad level. I myself love Sky Tower as well, but I also love the animation that goes with it, which has caused me to truly ponder about whether or not I love Sky Tower for the level or for the animation. Anyway, if you take anything away from this section of the video, let it be this. Using your outside talent to enhance your level can increase the perceived quality of said level. So if you are able to, making an animation, song, story, or just something creative to go alongside your level can overall enhance it, causing you to essentially fake greatness. On with the next section of this video now. Sky Tower is great. You know what else is great? In Silico. While definitely not to the extent of Sky Tower, at least in my opinion, it is still a great base for what Sky Tower stands for. Sky Tower already thrives off the success of In Silico, which set up this fictional universe very nicely. Trying to create something from scratch is difficult, but creating something based on another thing is how to easily work out fame and success, hence better perceived quality. Once again, I'm pretty sure that Rafer said that Sky Tower was made to be original, which made tying it into In Silico challenging, but he still made it a sequel to In Silico nonetheless. Succeeding off the success of other things are done commonly, and while it can oftentimes be seen as lazy, it doesn't have to be. Nevertheless, this method works. Many films and movies nowadays wouldn't have succeeded if there was nothing to base it on, and oftentimes, sequels of things can be misinterpreted as something much better than they are because of how good the prequel was. Okay, but not everything has a prequel, so how could you use this technique for your own level if it doesn't have a prequel? Well, simple. Base it off something. For example, level remakes. Now, I'm not saying to go ahead and make a cringy remake of something, 
But seriously, look at some of the views these videos get. Now look at the actual quality of the level. Your level doesn't need to and shouldn't be a direct ripoff or a remake. But as long as it's connected or related to the level in some way, you can find success. Something like Aftermath, while an original level, found success off of Bloodbath. And Bloodbath, also an original level, found success off of Cataclysm. Finding something that relates to your level and going with it can do a good job in increasing the perceived quality of your level. While nowadays we look at Aftermath as not so good a level, when it came out because of how closely it is and was related to Bloodbath and Cataclysm, we were amazed. This same principle can also apply to things like style. Sometimes writing off another level is not a good option. However, look at Erebus for example. While nowadays the design is seen as incredibly messy and cluttered, it rides heavily off of the core style, including a lot of details to further enhance how we see it, despite not really adding to its quality. So while you may not agree with all of the examples I stated here, what I am trying to say is relating your level to something else that was seen as good can oftentimes make your level seem much better. Hatred Redux, while having pretty bad design, built off the success of Hatred, which had much better and much more original design which Hatred itself built on the success of things like the popular core style. You see where I'm getting at? While the title of this section does say prequel, it doesn't need to be a prequel. If you can relate your level to something of a good quality, it can make your level look good too. However, there is something to watch out for. Sometimes while doing this, it seems as if you are comparing your level to another. So it is good practice to make sure your level is of an equal or higher quality than the level you are relating your level to. Sky Tower is of a higher quality than in Silico, once again, in my opinion but I am sure many other creators do agree with me. However, because Sky Tower is based on Insilico, it only further enhances how we view its quality. Okay, okay, so this section ended off being rather longer than I would have liked, but I hope I got my point across. Now let's talk about the third and final way to fake a masterpiece. Without a doubt, how you market your level will play a big role in how people perceive it. Are you marketing your level as the next top 1 extreme demon, the most revolutionary design level, a level with the best gameplay? All this determines how people will see your level, and if you do it right it can increase how people perceive your level's quality. Bloodlust for example. Like Sky Tower, while it isn't a bad level, it was marketed as the next upcoming top 1 extreme demon, which literally gave it millions of views, and especially when it first came out. The community thought very highly of it, and some people still do. However, imagine if Bloodlust was not marketed this way, but rather as just another top 10 extreme demon. It would have received nowhere near the amount of attention that it could have, and likewise, its quality would probably be drastically underrated, or at least not as overrated as it could have been. Sometimes, you are not even the one to do this. Astral Divinity, for example, was seen to be the best upcoming level decoration-wise, and was apparently the best thing ever made in this game. While nowadays we realize that we overrated it, the community made Astral Divinity out to be the best level ever, something that wasn't really stated in Novel Boy's videos about it. Okay, but how does this apply to Rafer's Sky Tower? Firstly, it was marketed as, well, a Rafer level. Rafer's levels are known to have great gameplay, astonishing coins, and this level was marketed that way too, mostly by the community. The animation and level were also premiered on Rafer's YouTube channel, and the level wasn't uploaded until afterwards, ensuring that people watched the animation before playing the level, which definitely played a role in causing them to consider it much more highly than if they hadn't seen the animation. All of this played an important role in faking extra quality for Sky Tower, and it is this in combination with the other two techniques we analyzed is what made me think so highly of Sky Tower. Once again, Sky Tower is an amazing level, but because of how it utilizes Rafer's outside talent, using Insilico status, and being already marketed as the next big Rafer level, Sky Tower is not only a great level, but it's also perceived as an even greater level. Alright, so that was three things I noticed that helped fake even more greatness for Sky Tower. Not that it wasn't already great, of course. Another level I noticed that is doing something very similar to Sky Tower, but to a lesser extent, is Sir Punch's upcoming level called Castle Mania. Anyway, you may be wondering why I decided to call this faking a masterpiece. Well, this is because these techniques add perceived quality to a level, without actually doing anything to said level, meaning that you are essentially faking the greatness. However, this is not a bad thing. Techniques like these are used all the time outside of Geometry Dash, and there is nothing wrong with it, as long as you are staying true. I highly recommend only doing this to big projects, rather than just the average level, since then it may come off as you trying too hard and actually demoralize the level. Okay, so for one final thing I want to say before the outro, I think it is evident that my analysis series is getting pretty old. So I decided to completely reboot it and make it a sort of season 2 type thing. Rather than throwing everything into some playlist, I will have a separate playlist for levels, creators, etc. 
Anyway, if you have anything you want me to analyze, whether it's succeeded or failed, feel free to comment down below your ideas. I would love to hear them. So, thanks so much for watching this video and making it this far in. The fact that you chose to watch this entire video means a lot to me, so thank you so much for that. Remember to subscribe if you like this video and my other content, it means a lot to content creators like myself. I upload Geomstash commentary videos every week, usually on the weekend, though not for this specific video, unless I do upload it on the weekend. Anyway, uh, if you're into that stuff, then you might like what you find on my channel. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed, and of course, have a great day, as always.